All right, so we're gonna move on to blood flow restriction training here. And if you guys are thinking that this is only a bodybuilding technique, it's not. It's really made its way into the physical therapy and rehabilitation communities in the last couple of years with some really awesome research coming out. But I'm gonna show two different techniques that are super simple. We just want a seven out of 10 perceived tightness with the cuff or the band. And we're gonna be using about 40% of a one RM for any movements that you're doing. So I'm gonna show two different things. I'm gonna use a band and a cuff. First thing, this is a cuff, simple one from Amazon, costs about 15 bucks. We're gonna strap up Lindsay here. We're gonna be working on uh, the upper arms here. So we're gonna get it as high up into the armpit as possible. So place the cuff, tension cuff down, about seven out of 10 perceived tightness, and cuff through. Wrap it around. I'm gonna come to the opposite side here. If you guys don't have these cuffs, everyone has bands around. So again, we're gonna get a seven out of 10 perceived tightness. We're gonna get it up into the armpit. We're simply just gonna tie it off here. Is that about seven out of 10? Okay. So, Lindsay's gonna be targeting with these bands around. She could either do biceps, triceps, forearm work, or there's even some sources saying that we can do push and pull training as well. So, Lindsay's gonna grab these five pound dumbbells, and for her, her 1RM is about a 20, 20 pound, 1RM. So let's go start curling. She's going to be going slow, deliberately here, using constant tension, controlling every rep with a mind-muscle connection, really just trying to flex the top of every single rep here. And we're working in rep ranges around 15 to 20 reps at 40% of a 1RM. What this is going to do is elicit a huge pump effect. It's going to be great for muscle hypertrophy and strength while minimizing the joint stress.